welcome to another art lesson in our little koala pup. Today we are doing some wipe painting and making some cats. Here we go, I've got my five different colours, doesn't matter which colours you have. I have a silver marker, a black marker of some sort, whatever you've got you can use. Um, I'm using one of these, it's a plastic um, cake scraper for making cakes smooth around the edges. Works good as a wiper or it works just as well with a piece of cardboard. Let's move my paints so we can get set up. What you want to do is make sure you know how wide your sheet of paper or your scraper is so you know to put the paint within those areas let's start we're going to do some dots and you'll soon see how our cats you want a fair bit of paint if you can squeeze it on is fine if not scoop it on um scoop it out of your tube it's a little bit closer doesn't matter if it drips and I'm going to do a light green one down here now I'm using three colors just to start with this first one I'm going to use is with a scraper so what you want to do is hold the scraper a little bit sideways not all the way up to the top and you want to hold the paper at the top hold the paper at the top while you drag down now drag, make sure you drag all the way to the end of the page. Make sure you're doing it on a plastic on a plastic mat. Use a plastic tablecloth so the paint that comes off doesn't go on your floor, but goes onto your table. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, don't press too hard. What we're gonna do is just gently pull that paint to the edge. Now, I've got my green one didn't work all that well, but that's the nature of it. So, what I can do is I can clean up my um, scoop, my wipe, and I can try that again. Obviously, if you are doing it with cardboard, it's going to be harder to wipe the cardboard. But what you would do is either use another piece of cardboard or turn and use another side. So it does work well with the cardboard as well. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more green on this time to give him another go and I'm going to put two more colors on as well so I'm going to have a, another little cat over this side <clears throat> and I'm going to have another little one on this side okay so once again hold your piece of paper up the top and we're going to Okay, my purple one is a little bit lost, but that's okay. Okay, and we're going to let that dry. Oh, it's drying, let's try another one. So, a clean piece of paper, I might put it this, this way. Landscape this time, and I'm going to use green once again check how wide your scraper is so you know where you're going to put I'm going to start up tall up here this one down here and the purple one over this side so I need to make it closer together so I'm going to fit it once again, hold it. If you can have someone hold a piece of paper for you and you use two hands, that way you'll get the same pressure on both sides. So if you haven't got anybody at home to help you at the moment, just hold one corner and make sure you press. And there's my next picture ready to go. Okay, we'll need to let those dry for a little bit 
and then we can come back and finish their faces. While we're waiting, just grab yourself a pencil and let's practice drawing some little cat faces. So, do the ears. Okay, so just go around drawing some cat faces. See which is easier for you, starting at the bottom to do this shape, then do the ears, or start at the top. See which one's easy for you to do. I think doing the top first and then joining it for me, but I think I get a better shape if I do it at the bottom bit first. Okay, so draw yourself about nine different cat shapes. cat shapes so how can we decorate our cats this one's going to be a sleepy cat so do his whiskers and his little mouth and his nose we can do a little triangle in for his ears and let's give him some stripes so we can color those in it's my stripy cat Okay, next one. Let's have his eyes open. Same thing. Little triangles. Maybe I cut the triangles in this time. Some whiskers. And we might do some little dots. Next one. Let's do some little love heart eyes. It's kind of cute. The little nose, this time the mouth is going to be open a little. And I'm just going to draw some little lines there and just some shapes there. Next shape, let's try some different lines. With the tabby cat, little triangle nose this time, nice big smile, some whiskers. This one's going to be like he's sleeping as well, but the other way. Okay, so keep going and fill in nine different ways that you could do your cats. Don't forget to give them whiskers. Three is kind of good, little dots. Maybe you don't want to colour the nose in this time. Okay, so just try different things. Maybe you want to do the heart shapes without colouring them in. So this one hasn't got anything coloured in. So keep going with that and trying some different cat shapes. Cats are looking dry and we can start to put on some of those faces that we practised. Now with your silver uh, pen, you might like to do that triangle that sits. I'm using a silver one. You can use whatever paint pens you have or you can just use black. Okay, so that one's going to have silver on the top. <clears throat> and then I'm going to draw his eyes. And his nose. And his whiskers. Looks like my book pen is running out. Okay, my next one I'm going to just draw with my black. Quite dry. Let's do some love heart eyes and some whiskers and a mouth. Okay, my next one, let's do down here. shapes. I'll put a 
impact hearing in and I'm guessing I might leave my purple one because he didn't really work that well. Okay. For my other pictures. I'm going to do some just silver on this one. So do some eyes. See the silver on the screen and my whisker shapes. And we'll go back to the black for the next one. And this one's got some spots. His whiskers are going to, he's kind of standing in the front. There we go. We have lots and lots of hats to play around with. Have fun with that. Um, don't forget to get mum to, or dad to send me a picture of your work so I can put it on our gallery page. Thanks for watching. See you next time.